In this question, uh, we're given a curve y equals f of x. We're told that it's got a maximum point at negative 45.7, so there. And we're told that it's got a minimum point, 135, or a negative 1 there. So obviously it's a, it's a scaled-in diagram. We're asked to show the, uh, showing the coordinates of any stationary points. So only stationary points sketch the following curves. Okay, now the first one is very straightforward. So for part A, these are just ones you can obviously learn. That was the original function there. Okay, y equals f of x. And when you're asked to draw y equals f of the modulus of x, you should know that what you do is you draw the original curve from x bigger than 0, like this. Okay, and then you just reflect what you've drawn in the y-axis. So it would look like that. Okay, it's as sim simple as that. And you just uh, start getting to the point where you can recognize these. For more uh, detail, look at the videos on why that's true. But for the purposes of the exam, this is uh, all you need. So there you go. It would look something like that. Now, don't forget to label your points. If that's 135, negative 1, this one here is clearly negative 135, negative 1. Also, don't forget to that one, even though it might seem obvious. Don't. Oh, well, actually, sorry, it doesn't uh, ask you to uh, label uh, anything that isn't uh, a stationary point. Okay, so actually, at that point, you wouldn't have to label the stationary point there. The next one is slightly tricky, okay, and it requires you to think a little bit more. So let's. Uh, for part two. Now, before I even talk about part two, I want to show you the different transformations that could come up. You have, if you have an original curve y equals f of x, you could have y is equal to um, a f of x plus b, something like that, or you could have y is equal to, uh, let's say, uh, f of ax plus b, okay? Or you could have y is equal to um, a f of x plus b. Or you could have y is equal to f of ax at b. Okay, there's some of the ones you could do. Now, in these two cases here, there is a transformation in the y direction. So this, I'm going to label them yellow. This is the transformation in the y direction something that's happening in the y direction and this is a transformation happening in the x direction because x and y uh, they're happening to the x direction and the y direction they don't affect each other so the order in which you do these transformations doesn't matter so order does not matter now in this case here both transformations are happening to the y direction that's happening to the y direction, it's stretching it by a, that's happening to the y direction, you're uh, moving it up by uh, b units. And these are both happening to the x direction, you're squashing it by a and you're moving it to the left by b. So the order does matter, do you do the, trans do you do the um, stretch first and then the movement or the movement first and then the stretch. So order here absolutely does matter. So when they're both in or both out, order matters. When, uh, when one's in, one's out, uh, etc., order doesn't matter. So they're both in or they're both out here. Now the way I remember it, an easy way to remember it for the exam, so if they're both in and the I from in, I think B first. Both in, B first, both out. And then I just remember A first. There. So both in B first. So in this case, they're both in, so the B first, then the A. And in this case, they're both out, so the A first, then the B. Let's look at what our question is. They are both out, so let's rewrite it like this. Y is equal to uh, 2 f of x add 1, 2 f of x add 1. Okay, so this is of the form Y equals A f of x add B. They are both out. So therefore, I'm going to do A first, okay? So I'm going to do the stretch first. So firstly, I'm going to uh, stretch everything uh, by, what is it, two units in that direction, and then add one. 
So stretch by two units. This this here now for, would be negative 45, 14. So this would be negative 45, 14. And this point here would be 135, negative 2. So 135, negative 2. And what I would do then is add one unit. So I'm going to add one unit here as well. So if I add one unit in that direction, it would clearly be 15. And if I add one unit in that direction, add one, it would be at negative one. So this now for would be at negative one. Like that. Okay, so it's going to come up somewhere here like that and then back down here, back up like that. Okay, so it's really important you remember that first. If I had done the other one first, if I had uh, added one and then doubled it, you could see you would have got different answers.